Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Path Loss 5 training series. The topic of this video is how to make backdrop. Whenever we are working on a network, uh, it's better to have a backdrop to get some idea. Because even though the if the network is very big and you are uh, fully zoomed out, then uh, the sides will cover uh, the backdrop and you will not be able to see anything. But uh, when you will zoom in and if there is a backdrop uh, which you have put from your uh, map data, then generally it gives a very good feeling and can give you some understanding of the link. I mean from the backdrop you may know that what kind of uh, terrain this link has without doing any LOS survey or anything you have some initial idea of the link. So for example let me show you this is a normal network I mean you can see there is nothing in the backdrop we can see the sites but these sites are on a white background but here the same sites I have plotted the backdrop as well. So now for example you can see that this link this link is passing through some ridgy area some mountain this this part is some elevation here one site is more high the other site is a bit low but both are on some kind of a small mountain and there is a valley in between so this elevation back backdrop or any backdrop can give you a very good idea of what is the terrain profile that is going to be used maybe you find a line of sight report but if you have the backdrop in your mind you can very easily say that this line of sight report is okay or not i mean this will give you a very good uh, uh, initial understanding of the data so backdrop getting backdrop is very easy if if you have all the radial elevation files with you so for example if you have all the srtm files of your network then you can just go to backdrops and then you can click on elevation backdrop and you will get a backdrop in no time but for example like here you can see that i have only a very small number of backdrops i mean the reason is because i don't have the data for all this network this was a test network which was just made for this uh, training purpose so i don't have everything for this network so that's why uh, the good thing of backdrop is also for example here you can see that if i will be making a link between these two sites i'm very sure now that i will not have the terrain profile because the terrain data is not available otherwise if the terrain data was there then i should be able to see a backdrop here as well so if any of my site is outside the backdrop it means that i cannot plan those sites because i don't have a data so backdrop gives you this idea as well I and mean, if you plot the backdrop then you will know that if you can cover all the sites you can plan all the sites or you will go to your team for the map data of the sites which are outside the backdrop area so backdrop gives you this uh, you can say you can very easily know that which sites you can plan and which site you cannot plan so you can say that this is an added advantage of using backdrops and also if you have a full backdrop then this looks very beautiful as well and things like uh, for example the water bodies or uh, you are very near to some uh, beach or you are very near to some uh, hilly area you can know these things very easily because of the backdrop however you can have a clutter backdrop as well if you have the clutter data then you can have a clutter backdrop you will know that where there are very high vegetations or where there are very tall buildings but for that you have to have the clutter data with you and you have to like I told in the my previous uh, uh, video on GIS so you have to uh, import the clutter data as well and if you have clutter data then you can have a clutter backdrop as well or the last thing is you can have a picture as a backdrop you can have a map of the country as a backdrop and you have first you just have to make it a geo uh, you have to give a geo location to that uh, map so that the map is uh, put as per the coordinate system but uh, you can have a picture as a backdrop if you want and uh, these three backdrops I think these are very good backdrop because all of them give you some kind of 
uh, extra information for uh, the planning of your network so hope this uh, video should be informative for you and if you have any question please don't hesitate to contact me through the email or linkedin and please like my channel so that you are aware of all my new videos and uh, please share and comment on my videos and uh, hope to see you in any next video inshallah assalamu alaikum